7. The Eternal Revolution The following propositions have been urged. First, that some faith in our life is required even to improve it. Second, that some dissatisfaction with things as they are is necessary even in order to be satisfied. Third, that to have the necessary content and necessary discontent is not sufficient to have the obvious equilibrium of the Stoic. For mere resignation is neither the gigantic levity of pleasure nor the superb intolerance of pain. There is a vital objection to the advice merely to grin and bear it. The objection is that if you merely bear it, you do not grin. Greek heroes do not grin, but gargoyles do, because they are Christian. And when a Christian is pleased, he is, in the most exact sense, frightfully pleased. His pleasure is frightful. Christ prophesies the whole of Gothic architecture in that hour when nervous and respectable people, such people as now object to barrel organs, objected to the shouting of the gutter snipes of Jerusalem. He said, if these were silent, the very stones would cry out. Under the impulse of his spirit arose, like a clamorous chorus, the facades of the medieval cathedrals, thronged with shouting faces and open mouths. The prophecy has fulfilled itself. The very stones cry out.